Okay. Now, suppose we are interested to find out the angular velocity of a rigid body, a disc or maybe a cylinder, which is placed in between two planks and two planks are having some velocities and they are rubbing the surfaces, top and bottom surfaces. So we want to calculate the angular velocity in this condition. So to first, uh, first we have to find out the velocity of the center of mass in this case. So the center of mass will have a velocity that is given by V1 vector minus V2 vector and the modulus of this divided by 2. So at first we will find the velocity of the center of mass. Now one point here you must remember that this velocity that is coming, this velocity is with respect to the system. That means it is not the velocity that we are seeing from the external frame. This is the velocity with respect to the system. And at first we will find the velocity of the center of mass. And from center of mass, if we find the velocity of center of mass, then you will do V by R. So we will find the omega of the disk. So for example, suppose this one is moving with a velocity say 0. So it, it is not moving. And this, this part is moving with a velocity say 2V. So we have to find out the relative velocity between these two. So here it is moving 2V and this is moving with velocity 0. That means the relative velocity will be 2V minus 0 and divided by 2. So this will give you V. So this V will be the velocity of center of mass. Now once you find out this V, then we can find omega. That omega will be equal to V by R. So the omega will be from that plank which is moving with higher velocity. In this case, suppose this law, this plank that is moving with velocity 2V. So you can originate the omega. So omega will be this side and that omega will be equal to this thing. V by R. Now let us take another example. Suppose now this, this plank also starts moving with the velocity V. Now we have to calculate the velocity of the center of mass. So velocity of center of mass in this case will be so this will be 2V. So higher velocity minus V. So we are taking higher velocity at first because we don't have to take the modulus. Otherwise you can do V minus 2V and then take the modulus, so the result will be same. So 2V minus V divided by 2. So this will be giving you V by 2. So now the center of mass will have velocity V by 2 with respect to this reference frame, this total reference frame. This is not with respect to someone which is standing outside of this. So this is having velocity V by 2 and so omega will be originating from this side from the plank which is moving with higher velocity. So from this side the omega will originate. So omega will be V by 2 by R. So V by 2 R. So in this case omega is decreasing. Now suppose this is also moving with another example. This is also moving with say 2 V. So this is also moving with 2 V. Now two planks are moving with velocity 2 V. So the relative velocity is 2 V minus 2 V divided by 2. That means 2V minus 2V that is giving 0. So 0 by 2 is 0. So that means the center of mass having 0 velocity with respect to these two frames. So omega will be eventually 0 because 0 by something is 0. So 0 by R, so that is equal to 0. That means now it will not rotate. Suppose two planks are moving with same velocity. Now it will not rotate. It will not roll. It will be static. The total system will go with the velocity 2V with someone who is standing outside, he will see the total system, this one plank, this another plank and the cylinder inside, these are moving with velocity 2V. But the uh, main thing is here that this disc or this uh, uh, cylinder, this will not roll, this will be static. So that's why its omega is 0. Now let us suppose this is moving this side with velocity V. Now it is moving in opposite side. Now you have to calculate it vectorically. So it is not so difficult. 
so this is moving with two v and this is moving with v so your velocity will be so the relative velocity will be two v and minus of minus v because minus so this is the velocity in opposite direction that's why you have to take minus v and divided by two so this will give you three v by two so once you find the velocity of center of mass of center of this disc or say cylinder then you can find the omega now in this case you can find so omega will originate from the this side so the body will roll in this side another way you can apply your general common sense so this uh, plank is giving a thrust in this direction and this plank is giving a thrust in opposite direction so as a whole the thing will roll like this so the rolling will be like this so in this case it will be 3v by 2r so this will be the omega of the cylinder or this now suppose this is moving with velocity another increasing velocity so that is suppose 2v now if this plank moves with velocity 2v and this is with 2v in opposite direction then you are getting the relative velocity as this is 2v and minus minus 2v and divided by 2 so this will be 4v divided by 2 so this will give you 2v and here the omega will be 2v divided by r so now omega increases so omega increases means it will rotate with higher angular velocity but the thing is that if someone standing outside he will see the center of mass is static because this is moving with velocity 2v and this is moving with velocity 2v so as a whole the center of mass is static basically with respect to an external reference plane but the cylinder will rotate with a higher velocity of course this will rotate with a higher velocity because this is you are moving you are taking this with 2v and you are thrusting this with 2v so as a whole the cylinder will rotate with high velocity that is 2v by r but the center of mass will remain intact but for calculation purpose we have to find out the velocity of the center of mass with respect to this two reference plane that means this total system so with respect to this total system the center of mass is having velocity 2v now if you increase the velocity suppose further say this velocity is 3v then of course you go on adding so this will be 2v so this is 2v and minus of minus 3v divided by 2 So this will give you 5v by 2. So it is giving you 5v by 2, and its omega will be. Now you have to determine what will be the side of its omega, what will be the direction of its omega. Okay, so it will be generating from the higher velocity side. So it will be like this. So basically, the direction remains constant. So it will be in this direction. So the omega, so omega will be in this case. It will be 5v. by 2 r so this is the case of a rolling of a cylinder or say a disc which is in between two planes okay now there may be different conditions when we are seeing from the external reference frame but uh, you have to actually calculate the omega that means the angular velocity of the this frame so the angular velocity can be only calculated when you at first find out the velocity of linear velocity of this center of mass with respect to this two reference frame so with the external reference frame the thing will be something else so with respect to external reference frame the problems are something else that we will discuss in later classes